Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. He's a really happy man Everybody knows His bright red van All his friends will smile As he waves to greet them Maybe You can never be sure They'll be not Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Mind out, Jess. It's a bit windy out here. Come on, Julian. You don't want to be late. Uh, oh, uh, coming, Dad. Looks like you're going to be busy at school today. Yeah, we're all planting trees for the nature project. Oh, Meow. move over, Jess. Hello, Bill. Hi, Mira. Meow. All set for the nature project? Yes, Mr Clifton. We got five trees already. Six with this one. And when we're finished, Dad's making pizza for everyone. I didn't know Ajay made pizza. Oh, yes. He's using Julia Pottage's special oven. And he's using a special recipe. I hope it's got mushrooms on it. And tomato. And cheese. Sounds great. Come on, Jess. Bye, Bye, Pat. Hello, Pat. <laughs> what windy weather we're having. It is a bit blowy. Uh, at least there's not too much post today. Letters for Greendale Farm and a couple for the cafe. And mind how you go, Pat. Right you are, Mrs Goggins. Come on then, Jess. Meow. Let's take these up to Julia Pottage. Meow. We can see how Ajay's getting on with those pizzas. Flour, mushrooms, tomatoes. There you are, Ajay. Here's the wood to keep the oven going. Rightio. Thanks for babysitting. Nish has just been so busy at the school. Not a problem, Ajay. He's been as good as gold. Mind the oven. It's already lit. Should be hot enough by the time you've made the pizzas. What are you putting on them? Ah, I've got a special recipe. Ooh, that does look good. Maybe I can help. Oh, that'll be packed with the post. Hello. Hello. How are the pizzas doing in there? Fine. They're going to be delicious. The children are so excited. They're going to be really hungry after all that tree planting. Oh, <gasps> the trees! I forgot all about them. The twins will be wondering where I've got to. Don't worry. I'll be fine here with Nick Hill. Meow. We can give you a hand, Ajay. We'd love to see a real pizza being made, wouldn't we, Jess? Meow. Bye then. See you later. Cheerio. Ah, I'll mix up the dough and you can help make the bases. Righto. Oof, it's hot in here with that oven alight. I'll just open the window a bit. Watch out! Ah, that's better. <gasps> oh dear. Well, that's deep enough, I think. Now, 
Where are your trees? Here they are. Oh, sorry I'm late. I was busy getting the oven lit for Ajay's pizza. Thanks, Thanks Mum. How's he getting along? Splendidly. Pat's giving him a hand. He's got a rather special pizza recipe, I must say. Mmm, I can't wait. Has it got a special topping? I don't know. He said it's going to be a surprise. <coughs> right, everyone. Now we've all dug our holes. <gasps> oh! Mr. Pickle, Mr. Pickle, Charlie's glasses have fallen into the hole. Well, we'd better get them out then, or they'll get buried. And no one will find them for years and years. Hmm. Bill, you've given me an idea. <laughs> What if everyone found something special about Greendale and buried it under their tree? Oh. Why, sir? So when people find them in years to come, they'll know something about our village. Mr. Pinkle, Mr. Pinkle, how about a map of Greendale? Or a model of the Greendale rocket? Or a maths book? Why, those are all good ideas. The children can find their special objects and we'll meet them back here later. Oh, I hope Ajay's recipe's good. We'll really want a pizza after all this work. Mm. Uh, it's it's a bit sticky. You have to spin it around. Like this. Mm. <laughs> hey, this is easy. Whoa! It's stuck on roof. I didn't think it'd be that sticky. There we go. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what have you got, Lucy? It's my dad's old helmet. And I've drawn a picture of him. Look. And we've got these to show the different animals on the farms in Greendale. I wonder what the others have got. How about a Captain Zap comic? It's got to be something about Greendale. Oh, I wish my dad wasn't making pizzas. He'd think of something. Yeah, so would mine. Come on, we better get back to school. I suppose so. Everyone else will be there by now. Now you need to put the toppings on. Hmm. Mushroom, olives, peppers, cheese. What's this one? That's pineapple. Part of my special Hawaiian pizza recipe. Pineapple? What, on a pizza? It's in the recipe. Trust me, it's delicious. That's a lovely idea, Bill. Thank Mrs Pottage. Great. Has everyone got something special? We looked everywhere, but we can't find anything to put under our trees. Maybe you two will think of something when we've planted the others. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> I'll just go and get a few more logs for the fire and we can start cooking. Mind up. Door. should do it. Well, that's all of them, I think, Jess. <coughs> the boxes! Oh. Well done, Jess. <gasps> I think this map is the best thing about Greendale. It tells you who lives where. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> now, who's next? Oh, don't worry. You'll think of something. Well done, everyone. We'll need some pizza after all this hard work. I'll go up to the farm and see if Ajay and Pat need a hand. Mmm, that smells good. That's it. Let's get them down there while they're still hot. Uh, 
<laughs> you take Nikhil in the van with the pizzas, and I'll tidy up here and follow you down in a minute. Right you are, Ajay. Soon be there, Jess. <laughs> oh dear, hold tight, Jess. <laughs> oh no. This is the only road into Greendale. I'd better go back and warn Ajay. What are you doing back here? That old oak tree's fallen down and blocked the road. Oh, no. How are we going to get the pizzas to the school now? Hmm. I know. Meow. We can take the pizzas cross-country on your motorbike. Good thinking, Pat. Oh, my goodness. It's completely blocked the road. Pat and Ajay will never be able to get through. <sighs> what will they do? Are you sure you'll be okay? There's a footpath across the fields. I'm sure we can get through with the bike. Come on, Jess. Meow. Get here soon. The children are really hungry. Oh, Sarah, bad news, I'm afraid. Pat and Ajay are stuck up at the farm. They'll never be able to get down here with the pizzas. Oh, the children are going to be so disappointed. We made it. Hang on, Jess. Now, let's get these pizzas delivered. Don't worry. We'll make you all some sandwiches instead. But it's Dad's special pizza. What's that? It's Pat. And the pizzas. Hooray! Somebody order a pizza. Well done, Pat. Are you all right? We're fine. And so are the pizzas. Don't worry, Nisha. Ajay and Nikhil will be here soon. Thanks, Pat. You've really saved the day. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Pineapple. Mmm. Hello. Three cheers for the pizza chef and a very special recipe. Hip, hip. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! We saved you one. Thanks, love. Mr. Pringle! We know what we're going to put under our tree. Of course! Here you are. One special pizza recipe. So that everyone knows about our delicious pizzas. Just beginning, I feel 
Cause he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. That's the lot then, Jess. Off we go. Meow. Oh, Pet, wait. Uh, I forgot to give you this parcel. It's for Ted Glenn. Oh, thanks, Mrs Goggins. Funny shape, isn't it? Meow. Oh. Goodness me, Pet. Was that you? No, it certainly was not. It was that parcel of Ted's. Whatever can it be? <laughs> no idea. We'll have to wait till Ted opens it. See you later, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Look very happy, do they, Mum? No, I'm afraid they don't. Oh dear. They haven't been giving much milk, and they do seem a bit poorly. <coughs> I'd better see if Amy can have a look at them. Poor cows. <coughs> hello, Pat. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Oh, hello, Reverend. How are you today? All the better for a nice cup of tea, thank you, Pat. Here are your letters, Doctor. And there's a package for you as well. Um, is your tummy poorly, Pat? No, Doctor. It wasn't me. It's this parcel of Ted's. It's making some very strange noises. Oh, I see. What on earth would make noises like that? I don't know, but I can't wait to get to Ted's and find out. Bye. Bye, Pat. Strange sounds indeed. More tea, Vicar. This should do the trick for Alf and Dorothy. I just hope Pat's got that parcel for me today so I can get it finished. <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. That parcel can't hurt you. What do you think, Amy? Well, I can't find anything wrong with them. They just seem rather miserable. Oh dear, what can be the matter? Maybe they're bored, Mum. I don't think cows can get bored, can they, Amy? <laughs> Not really, no. They're usually very happy just being out in the fields. They are bored, Katie. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <gasps> Come on. I've got an idea. Go on now, you sheep. Get away with you. Shoo! Shoo! Will you look at that, Dorothy? They've started on me broccoli now. Oh, dear. Hello. What's going on here, then? Oh, Pat. We're in such a pickle. 
The sheep have taken a liking to our green vegetables, but... Yeah, see what you mean. <gasps> oh, no! Shoo! Leave my cabbages alone, you naughty sheep! What are you going to do? Ted's inventing summit to help. He'll be along in a bit. I'd better get over to Ted's now, then. I've got a very noisy parcel to give him. Good luck with your vegetables. Thanks, Pat. Hey, up, what's that? Oh, it's you, Pat. You don't sound too good. <laughs> it's not me, Ted. It's this parcel of yours. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, what's in there? It's been scaring poor Jess all morning. Meow. What's in here, Pat, is a set of bagpipes. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I can't. They're for me Ted Glenn automatic sheep disperser. Watch. Hmm. The sheep go into the vegetable patch. They like the look of this juicy giant cabbage and move towards it. Meow. They step on these bellows and... Oh. <laughs> the sheep will run away and Alf and Dorothy's vegetables will be saved. <laughs> That's amazing, Ted. Well done. Thanks, Pat. I'd better get this down to Thompson Ground right away. Good luck. Bye. Go on. You start. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll do it. <clears throat> Good morning, cows. This is your lucky day. Just for you, Tom and I would like to perform the exciting story of Little Red Riding Hood with Puppet. I'm going to take this basket of cakes to Grandma, Daddy Be careful in the forest, Little Red Riding Hood Don't stop and talk to any big bad wolves I won't, Daddy See you later Mwah. I don't think they liked it It's very dark in this forest. Hello, little girl. What have you got in your basket? Are you a big bad wolf? Yes. Then I'm not allowed to talk to you. Go away. No, no not you. I was talking to the big bad wolf. It's no good, Katie. I just don't think they enjoy theatre. I knew we should have done, Cinderella. Oh, wow. That one's just had me best beat root. Come on, Ted. We'll have no vegetables left at this rate. Don't worry. Nearly there. And if this doesn't do the trick, I'll eat me hat. There. The cows are going to love our skateboard tricks. Yeah. Come on, cows. Come and watch this. You go first, Tom. Ta -da! I think she liked it. Let's see what she thinks of your stunt then. Did you enjoy that? Oh. Huh. Honestly, I don't know why we bother, Tom. Those cows are just cranky. Hello, Katie. Hello, Tom. Hello, Hello Pat. Pat. I hear you've been trying to cheer these cows up. 
They don't want to be cheered up. No, they're just cranky cows. They certainly don't look too happy. What on earth's that terrible noise? <laughs> That's the Ted Glen automatic sheep disperser. Ted's using bagpipes to scare the sheep away from the Thompson's vegetable patch. Our cows don't look scared. You're right, Tom. Hmm, I wonder. What is it, Pat? I've just had an idea. I'll be back soon. Oh, they're not scared at all. I just don't understand it. You'd better start eating that out of yours, Ted. Birds come from. Oh, heck. It's attracting them, not scaring them off. Ted? Alf? How's it going? Oh, it's a disaster, Pat. Oh, dear. Ted, can I borrow your bagpipes just for a short while? You can oh. take them away for good. Thanks. Bye. And hopefully you'll take the crows with you and all. I was sure those bagpipes would do the trick. <coughs> well, I never. Oh, your invention worked after all. You just needed a different sound, Ted. Hmm. <gasps> Here he comes. What's that funny thing? Bagpipes. They're a musical instrument from Scotland. What's this good idea of yours then, Pat? Well, I noticed your cows seem to like Ted's bagpipe sounds, and I thought maybe they were missing their home in Scotland. It might cheer them up to hear some Scottish music. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I'm not sure I can, but I'll give it a go. <coughs> Here goes, then. Pat's making rude noises. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice, Pat. Look at the cows. They love your music, Pat. <sighs> Thank you. I think you were right, Pat. The cows were homesick for Scotland. And the bagpipes made them feel better. I'll pop in every now and again and give them a tune. Will you play some more now, Pat? Of course I will. I think even Jess likes the bagpipes now, don't you, Jess? Meow. <coughs> Friends will smile as he waves to greet 
them Maybe You can never be sure They'll be knock Rings Letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat Postman Pat Postman Pat And his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man All aboard! All aboard for Pancaster! Are you sure you'll be all right while I'm gone? Oh, I think we'll cope. It's only for one night, Mum. I know, but... Off you go, love. Have a great time. And say hello to Auntie Vicky. <laughs> See you tomorrow, love. Bye, Mum. Bye. Don't be late for school, Julian. And don't forget to make your packed lunch before you go. Don't worry, Mum. We won't forget anything. Dad? Yeah. What's up? I've forgotten my keys. <gasps> We're locked out of the house. <sighs> Hello, buddy. Have you finished your breakfast? <laughs> What's the matter? You're not still hungry. <laughs> Let's go outside and check your bowl. Perhaps you don't like your new dog food. <laughs> What are we going to do? There's got to be some way we can get in. I must have forgotten to close all the windows this morning. Just as well you did, Dad. If Jess can get in, so can I. Oh, you've eaten every scrap. I'm not giving you any more, Bonnie. One breakfast is quite enough for a little dog like you. I love peanut butter. I don't know how you can eat this stuff. I'm a cheese and pickle man myself. Come on, Dad. Mum told us not to be late. Oh, now where did I put those keys? Here they are, Dad. <laughs> what would I do without you, eh? Come on, I'll drop you off at school on my way to the post office. What's up, Jess? Julian! Meow. Hurry up, Julian. It's nearly nine o'clock. Sorry, Mr Pringle. Bye, Dad. Sorry, Jeff. Sarah's away for the night and we're running a bit late this morning. Got a dash. Bye. No problem, Pat. Bye. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Sorry I'm late. Meow. Oh, dear. Are you planning to send Bonnie as a parcel? Oh, no, Pat. But I am a bit worried about her. She's lost weight. Really? Well, she seems lively enough. Why don't you get Amy to have a look at her? We could give you a lift if you like. Oh, thank you, Pat. That's very kind. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with Bonnie. But she certainly has lost weight. Is she eating normally? Well, that's what's so strange, Amy. She ate every scrap of her breakfast this morning and then came in begging for more. Hmm, that is odd. Give us some more food at lunchtime and see how she gets on. I'll call by later to check how she is. Thanks, Amy. I'll do just that.
That's the lot for now, Jess. Meow. Time for lunch. Oh, peanut butter. I must have picked up Julian's lunchbox by mistake. Which means that he must have got... Cheese and pickle. Ugh! Oh, yuck! Oh, well, I suppose we'd better head back to the post office then. Yeah. I wonder how Bonnie's getting along. There you go, Bonnie. You'll never be hungry after that lot. Hello, Mrs Goggins. How's the patient? She seems fine, Pat, but... Oh, Bonnie! <gasps> well, I never. A hedgehog. So that's why you're so hungry. A wee hedgehog's been pinching your food. I'd better call Amy. A hedgehog? Well, that explains why Bonnie was losing weight. But we should take him out to the countryside, Pat. Do you think you can catch him? We'll certainly give it a try, Amy. What should we do? Get a cardboard box with lots of fresh straw and air holes and try and tempt him inside. We could use some of Bonnie's dog food. He certainly seems to like that. Good idea, Pat. I'll be over as soon as I've finished work and we'll drive him out to the country. Good luck. Thanks, Amy. Bye. Now, all we've got to do is wait. I don't think the hedgehog's very hungry. Not after all that. Pat. What? Look. There. Quick, before he gets away. Got him. Hello, Pat. Is this our hedgehog? Oh, he's a sweet wee thing, isn't he? I wish he could stay in my garden. I know, it's a shame. But he'd be better off in the country. Come on, Mr Hedgehog. Let's take you back where you belong. Here he comes. Come on, Pat. I'll drop you off back at the post office. It's true, Mum. Eggs. Dad found a hedgehog in Mrs Goggins' garden. He was eating Bonnie's dog food. Oh, where are they? No, Mum, we're fine. Aha! Ooh. Oh, no. No, Jess. Leave it. Leave it, Jess. No, nothing's wrong. Dad's just, um... Oh. Making pancakes. Oh. oh. Nothing. I told you, Mum. We're coping fine on our own. Aren't we, Dad? And they all lived happily ever after. Ooh, what a day, eh, Julian? I'm about ready to go to bed myself. Julian? Night, Julian. Dad? Yes? Do you miss Mum? Yes, I do, Julian. Still, we mustn't be sad. She'll be home tomorrow. I know, Dad. I can't wait.
Morning, Mrs Goggins. Morning, Pat. Hello, Julian. Helping your dad today? Just till Mum gets back. <coughs> Don't tell me you're hungry again, Bonnie. Come on, Jess. Let's go and see if Bonnie's eaten her breakfast. <coughs> Stop it, Bonnie. There's no hedgehog to eat your food now. Dad, quick! You'll never guess what we found in Mrs Goggins' garden. Oh. Oh, so he is a she. <laughs> she's a mummy hedgehog. And she's come back for her babies. I'd better call Amy again. Well, Pat, if our hedgehog's got babies, we mustn't move her again. They'll have to stay in Mrs. Goggins' garden. I know. We could build a special hedgehog house to keep them safe. Finished. We make a good team. Yeah, at least there are some things we can do without Mum's help. <laughs> yes, some. Come on, let's get this to the post office. Oh, it's perfect, Pat. Oh, I'm really impressed. Thanks, Amy. I couldn't have done it on my own. Now all we have to do is wait and see what our hedgehogs think of their new home. Look! They like it! <laughs> they certainly do. Hey, Mum's train will be arriving any minute. We'd better go and meet her. Oh, yeah. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Amy. Bye-bye, hedgehogs. Bye, you two. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. <laughs> Greendale! Greendale! All tickets for Greendale! There she is! Mum! Mum! We've got something to show you! <laughs> and she came all the way back to Greendale to find her babies, didn't she, Dad? Poor Mrs Hedgehog. I know just how she felt. I missed my baby, too. Mm. Oh, Mum! Well, it's all turned out for the best. The hedgehogs have got a lovely new home and Bonnie can eat her dinner in peace. He's 
he's a really happy man. Dad? Some old stuff from the attic. <laughs> well, I never. Will you look at that? It's just an old bear. He's not any old bear, Julian. He's the bear I had when I was a little boy. His name's Billy. Come on, you two. It's time for school. OK, Mum. Come on, Billy. You can come with us today. Could I take Billy to show the others at school, Dad? Of course you can, Julian. But take special care of him. He's very old. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Come on, Billy. So I was quite pleased to find my old bear after all this time. Oh, when I was a wee girl, I had a doll called Flora MacDonald. She had a white dress, and I used to take her everywhere with me. Oh, I loved her so. Yes, I'd forgotten how much I loved my bear. Do you like my bear, Charlie? He was my dad's when he was little. Wow, he must be ancient. Come on, children. Yes, yes Mr. Pringle. Hello, everyone. Post. Oh, thank you, Pat. Sarah was just telling us about your old bear, Pat. <gasps> Where is he? Julian's taking him to school. Oh, Pat. I hope he's careful with it. Oh, I'm sure he will be. Don't worry. Bye. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. What's that you've got, Charlie? It's a, it's a, it's a magnifying glass. It makes small things look much bigger. That's brilliant. I wish I had one. Well, I could swap it for you a bear if you like. Mm, I don't know. It's my dad's. We can swap back later. Oh, OK then. This is great. If I can just get this up. Geronimo! <laughs> it's all right. No need to thank me. Just glad to help. Oh, where did it go? I used to really love my train set when I were young. I wonder where it is now. Maybe it's in one of those boxes in the back room. Good thinking, love. I'll go and see if I can find it. <laughs> Look! An old teddy! Someone must be throwing him out. Ah... Oh. Let's take him home. OK. Oh, it's got to be, it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, come back! <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, I'll get it off him at school tomorrow. Hello, Julian. Did you have a good day? Yes, thanks, Dad. Uh, did you forget Billy? Um, well, actually, Dad, I swapped him for this brilliant magnifying glass. Oh, oh, I see. Only, I quite missed him today after not seeing him for so long. Don't worry, Dad. I know where he is. I'll go and get him. Charlie! Charlie, have you got my dad's bear? Ah, well, I did have, uh, because he was 
taking part in an important scientific experiment when Bill came in and... and, and Where is he, Charlie? Tom's got him. Oh, Charlie! Sorry! Hi, Sarah. Do you want to swap that rope with me? I need it for a lasso. Hmm. <laughs> what have you got to swap? Um. How about this bear? OK. Great. See you tomorrow. Bye, Sarah. Sorry, Dad. Your bear's gone. Billy! But I know where he is. Where? Tom's got him. Oh, dear. I know he's just an old bear, but I really miss him. Oh, come on, let's catch up with Tom. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Oh. Hello, Mira, love. Look, it's my old train set. Oh, wow. Let's set her up here. Excellent, Sarah. You're doing really well. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> oh, oh. Easy, pumpkin. Easy. Katie, have you still got that old bear? No, I swapped him with Sarah for this great lasso. Look. Oh. Come on, Dad. Let's try it, Sarah's. Thanks, Tom. Keep trying. What's this? You'll get wet and soggy out here, Bear. Come on, you come back to the farm with me. Much better, Sarah. That's much better. Dad, look. There's Sarah riding Pumpkin. Sarah? Sarah, have you got it? Got what? Have you lost something, Julian? Yes, my old teddy bear. Don't worry, Pat. I've got him. Oh, brilliant. He's right here on Pumpkin. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, he must have fallen off. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Poor Billy. Looks like I'll never get him back now. I'm really sorry, Dad. Yeah, so am I, Julian. So am I. <laughs> now then, you just stay there a minute. What's that? It's only an old bear. Hey, <laughs> cute little fella, though. You can be me mascot. <laughs> there you go. Ted's Ted. <laughs> Do you get it? I don't think there's anywhere else to look, Julian. He's just disappeared. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's all right, Julian. Come on, let's go to the cafe. We'll have a hot chocolate to cheer ourselves up. Here's a straight bit, Ajay. Oh, thanks, Sarah. It needs brightening up a bit, don't you think? No, 
I'll go and get some flowers and leaves from the platform. Good idea, Mira. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mira. Hello, Mr. Glenn. Uh, what's that on your truck? <laughs> it's a Ted. I found him on the road. It's Ted's Ted. Do you get it? <laughs> oh, poor bear. He looks a bit sad. I suppose he does a bit. Maybe I should give him to your Nikhil. What do you think? Well, he's a bit... Dirty. I'll give him a bit of a brush to clean him up. That'll do it. <coughs> Here you are, Nicky. <coughs> look what I've got for you. <coughs> Come and look at our train set, Ted. By gum, that's grand. What's this? Is it Billy? No, it's Green Rabbit. Oh. Come on, Nikhil will be missing him. Stand clear, stand clear, train coming through. Woohoo! Woohoo! Excuse me, is that pain going to Pencaster? All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, hello, love. Do you want to play? No, thanks, Mum. Here you are, Nikhil. I think this belongs to you. Dad's bear! Oh, Billy! I thought I'd lost you. <gasps> <clears throat> oh, yes, there you are, Julian. Not lost after all. How did Nikhil get hold of him? It was me. That bear jumped out in front of me when I was driving. I gave him to Nikhil. I didn't know it was yours, Pat. That's okay, Ted. Billy could drive our train. Good idea. At least he can't go off on another adventure now. <laughs> 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 